Hi everyone, welcome to another satisfactory video. Should be starting in just a moment. And here we are, dawn on an alien world. Lovely morning mist there. And uh, this is the oil production area that we found in the last video. As you can see, I've been a bit busy establishing uh, a second oil pump there and we've actually established a bit of a power station I'll show you in a moment just thought we'd have a bit of a look around at the lovely scenery and this part of the map haven't visited any of the cliff tops there I hope to uh, once I get the jetpack unlocked spend a fair bit of time unlocking milestones off camera I have uh, done all of tier 5 now and the first milestone in tier 6 which is the uh, fuel based energy production so that's what we're here for I've just put together this uh, fuel based power station refinery and some storage containers that are going to store uh, the raw oil so that I can process that, process that into other things back at the base I'm still thinking about the best way to transport it all back to the base. Uh, I could build a road and actually do something along those lines. Though I'm going to have to clear out, I think, a little bit of the jungle. Something to consider. We're all loaded up with oil, ready to take back to base. And I did build a bit of a bridge across this little bit of water here to the next nearest island that I haven't visited. And it looks like from the uh, lookout tower that I built just down there, that there might be another crashed pod on the island uh, further across from that. So we'll just have a bit of a look and see what we can see. Carefully drive onto this bridge. Driving into the water in the truck uh, is fine as long as it doesn't get too deep. Once it does, the truck is gone. I haven't found a way to ever get a truck out of the deep water once you've driven into it so it's pretty much a matter of abandoning it I think once you've done that unloading it unbuilding it and then probably rebuilding it it's another area for oil production which I may or may not put into production eventually uh, this is the island across here and I can see some creatures, the locals, and what looks like a lot of those alien beehives. So not something I'm going to do today, I don't think. Let's see what other things I can unlock before I have to come back and go hand to hand with those guys. Okay, limestone. I did find a sulfur boulder, which I hadn't seen before, and that's allowed me to unlock uh, the sulfur technology, at least the technology to find the sulfur and to make explosives, which is something to look forward to. But the only sulfur deposits I've found have got great big uh, rock boulders blocking access. So it actually looks like I'm going to need to find some sulfur boulders first before I can develop enough explosives to open up a proper sulfur mine. At least that's the way I think it's going to work at the moment. Around here I'm only finding limestone boulders. But there's a few pale berries which are reasonably rare and I need those for the medical inhalers if I don't want to go around killing a lot of wildlife anyway. One of the hard drives I found in a crash pod did unlock an alternative medicinal inhaler, I believe. That's how I got the recipe. Yeah, 
more limestone. Got plenty of limestone back at base. I'm thinking of building an enormous road out of the foundation blocks all the way back to at least part way back to base. Only so I can automate uh, the production of actually bringing back loads of oil from the oil production back to the main base. But I'm not 100% sure how necessary that's going to be. Uh, it may be enough simply to transport it on my own uh, manually every now and then. And that's something I haven't really seen before. A newer kind of hive it looks like. I'm not especially keen on losing all of this oil. So we might just go the other way for now. More limestone I think. I probably need to look in the area I found the first sulphur boulder. Uh, that's probably the best place to find more. And that was up in the jungle at a higher elevation. Seems to be different biomes, different vegetation in different areas. And different minerals too. At least some of the time. Okay, well that all seems to be running smoothly. They should keep running till they've filled up all of the storage containers that are connected. area in there we'll have to go and look at. It looks like if you trigger the little hives of bees uh, and don't stop uh, the bees seem to hang around and uh, the hive regenerates, so it looks like you could end up with a lot of bees in one place. Now this is the Caterium source that I found. Somewhere around here. And I want to at least find it. Possibly hand mine some. So that I can unlock some more of the Caterium technology, because I didn't have enough from the first deposit I found which was just a little boulder. It was enough to unlock the scanner for it, uh, but not enough to unlock the rest of the technology. The Caterium seems to be used for advanced electronics, uh, things like uh, it's, there's a new kind of power pole, which will allow me more connections, and some other things as well, including a pair of exoskeletal boots that will allow me to jump higher and run faster, which sounds pretty good. And I'll need to get enough Caterium to do it. Let me get the best way up here. I think I'm just going to put in some stairs. Don't want the stairs to be clipping through the cliff there, so bring it out a little bit.
And with a little bit of fiddling, we should uh, have a staircase in just a moment. Works a little bit better if you actually go up each level as you build it. Helps the orientation. Little bit more. Tree clipping through is a bit annoying. One more. find the point to select it so I can cut it down. There we go. Now a couple of walkways, I think. One. Now just a straight one, I think. There we are. Now let's have a look at this criterion. Perfect. And I can hand mine some. So this may be a little bit boring, uh, but I'm going to have to sit here and hand mine some for a moment. I'm not sure how much it takes to make an ingot. I probably should have checked that. I believe for the milestone I need 50 ingots. And I'd like to have some left over to make the exoskeletal boots. Quite a nice view again. Perhaps there's a cave up there. It's going to be interesting to come back when I have the jetpack and have a look around all of these places. Okay, let's get into the workshop for a moment. It's really 
a lot of junk. Just make a little bit of space. Leave things that I might need for construction when I come back. If I'm going to send a truck here, I'm either going to have to find a back way to that area up top or build a big ramp here. I suppose I could build an elevator to bring the ingots down. So it's three. Three units of Caterium ore to one ingot. That's enough proof of concept, I'll just go and mine some more and do the rest of it back at base. Yeah, not quite orientated in a way to make it easy. We might stick a ramp on that, I think. Time for some more action-packed mining. I'm thinking about maybe about 240, but I may give up before then. Last thing I want is to not have enough when I get back to the base. I think there's another another item, the quick wire that you can make from the Caterium needs to go into the an analyzer again. There's another level to be investigated there, so I am gonna need quite a lot of it. Almost there. I wonder what that noise was. Probably my base shutting down because it's run out of coal. Not a big deal just means it isn't uh, producing any components. I stopped the automatic delivery of coal by trucks because uh, frequently, well, I was also doing copper deliveries and frequently what was happening was that because I have the truck stops too close together, the copper and coal would get mixed up copper ingots would end up going to the onto the conveyor belts for the coal power stations and uh, the power would shut down. 
and of course the trucks would keep running out of uh, fuel somewhere along their route and I would have to go and find them and uh, refuel them. I think they're supposed to automatically refuel but I don't seem to be doing it right <laughs> however you're supposed to do it. I've put fuel into the slot for it in the truck stops but it doesn't seem to load it into the trucks. Maybe it only works if you're using the same kind of fuel but I'm sure I've tried that so not quite sure. Okay, back into the jungle. And we'll find a way back to the base from here. Pretty sure I've gone this way before, though you wouldn't think so to look at it. Oh, a little bit of slowdown. There always seems to be a little bit of a slowdown just in this area. It's interesting. It may be a border of some kind from one section to another. That looks like the river, but I'm not really sure. A couple of locals who will ignore me in the truck. Okay. Bit of a road just over there. This is the main road to the coal area. And here we are back at home. I've made a few changes around the base. Nothing too major though. Fortunately I don't quite fit under there. Yes, looks like everything has stopped. So I will unload what I have on board at this truck stop here. And go and get a load of coal, I think. Oh, of course it won't unload. <laughs> Unless I put a little bit of coal into the generators enough to power the truck stations. Well, everything else as well for a little while. I think we've got six power stations, so I'll need 600 coal. Put a hundred in each. No points pulling the fuse until we've done the last one. Yep, 
There it goes. Excellent. Okay, and it has unloaded us. If I double click it just thinks I want to fuel the truck with it, so I'm having to drag and drop them all. So hopefully it will unload those quickly for me. Maybe full. I don't know, it should be picking them up. seem to want to unload those. Let me just do it manually. There's certainly room there for them. should check out what's down there. I haven't actually followed that particular road. Well, it might solve my problems with getting access down to the Caterium and oil area. Off we go. I don't like to run over the lizard parrot. Here we are at Coal Central. I might try setting up a route again. a few pauses this time so it's not uh, wasting its fuel running back and forth when it doesn't have a full load. You 
it should be more efficient running on the fuel from the oil plant oil refinery I should say up the big hill I mean I could turn this all into a road need to be at least two foundation blocks wide all the way. I don't think the lizard parrot would be very happy about it. If I paved over his area here, actually getting it uh, on the slopes is going to be a real pain. Unless I just build a suspended bridge over the whole thing. Take this down and park it in front of the truck stop. It's probably the best spot for it at the moment. It can unload as long as. I should, should have room for the whole load, shouldn't it? I think this truck at the truck stops. Storage is the same, so it should be able to completely unload. Doesn't take long, it's probably unloaded already. It does say that it's unloaded. Include this pause though, in the recording for it. Okay, pause the recording. I'll finish that later. Yep, nicely unloaded. Perfect. Just make sure this is all working correctly and I haven't left any more equipment that shouldn't have been unloaded in this storage here. Oh, and of course grab that coal. Heavy modular frames, rotors, useful things. I'll keep some oil on hand to make some plastic with it if I need it. I probably do need to build a refinery here at the base. Uh, an assembler building screws at the moment. It's probably run out of iron rods though for an input. Let's have a look at what else is happening in the base. starting to get a nice stock of parts. It's still going to be uh, a bit of a slog doing the next milestone. I could build the machines to do a lot of it automatically but it's almost as much work to uh, set up the machines I suppose. I'll have a bit of a think about it.
it probably would be easier to set it up uh, and use the more advanced machines. It's just a matter of arranging all of the conveyor belts here and the inputs in the right way. It'll require a little bit of thought, I think. We might just climb up our lookout tower and have a bit of a look. Check the machines first. Okay, so we're out of steel ingots there. Let's head up to the top here and have a quick look out, a look around the base, and we'll probably end the video here today, I think. A uh, little bit of an overview over the base. As you can see, nothing much has changed. Uh, trying to build out the foundations a bit. Anyway, see you all next time.